So here we are hanging out at the lab, and uh, there's a, a nozzle that I'm thinking of working out to use with this. Alright, it's gonna spin. I want to blow the exhaust into those pockets. So, that's the idea here. Um, I just found the nozzle. I thought I'd show it to you what I've got. It's basically just a, a brass nozzle. I have a, a number of different ones, so we can play around and see what works best. I have uh, all the hydrogen stuff kicking around here somewhere. But uh, here's the rotor I've made. I've got the VCR head bearing, which it is mounted on. It's actually fastened right in there now. It's all bolted on. It's all fastened, tight and solid. I have the Neos countersunk now. So they're not, they're just uh, set in there. And I've got one sloppy one here. So maybe a couple of them. I haven't decided how I'm going to fasten them in there for sure yet. They do sit in there okay for now for um, just dry runs. I wouldn't put any coils on there, they'll come out. So I may fasten them in there with epoxy, I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to do two of them. So I think I might experiment around here a little bit first before I say how I'm going to permanently fix them because uh, you may find I could put a piece of steel between soft iron and make kind of like a horseshoe magnet because these are in north and south. These are, this is an AC configuration, eight magnets all the way. And the outside push points there are 24 outside push points. Which all I did was take a piece of pipe strap band and uh, that's what these little holes here were for, my screws. And I bolted that on there and then I strapped it around and I just went around and poked all the holes in it. Worked out perfect. Slick. Just, I didn't have to space anything. It was just perfect. 24 holes, all roughly evenly spaced. They're just kind of, uh, being that this is a rough prototype, it's not perfect by any means. So it still wobbles a little bit, but I have uh, started to file the outside down. And I may continue to do that to get the spin a little better, but uh, nonetheless, right now, that, that'll likely change too when I get the magnets on there and everything else I'm gonna put on there. So I may have to you know, spin it up really high speed and then hit it with the filers and rough, rough grit sandpaper and smooth it out so that I have a nice smooth spinning wheel. Nonetheless, it spins very well, extremely well. It rips along for quite a while from a little spin. So, um, again, eight magnets. So I would, uh, in single core configuration, I would say eight core or seven cores would be the maximum I would go, so you have an eclipse effect, as per Bill Muller's work. And uh, that means that only one magnet is in a core at one time, and the others are all phased in and out at the appropriate places around. You do that by having one extra magnet, then you have coils. So, I can go that route, or I can do the horseshoe like I have explained. I'm going to experiment and play around. But yeah, just an update at the rotor. It is pretty well complete, aside uh, affixing the magnets. Thanks for watching.